discovery that we almost represent everything that is against Western values. We, um, we represent austerity. We represent uh, God consciousness. Yeah. We represent um, uh, restriction of sexual uh, freedom. Yeah. Uh, intoxication. All the four regulated principles uh, are almost totally in opposite to Western uh, desires. That means Western people are all demons. So the problem so, is... So, trying to get into office huh? under those circumstances. Huh? The problem is trying to get into office under those circumstances to make that known that we stand for this and to have anybody vote for you. <laughs> Nobody may vote, but we must go on. Yes. Preaching. That, that I have already expensed how the university, uh, the whole uh, country is illiterate. Does it mean university should be stopped? <laughs> university must be there. One who is fortunate will come and take education. Yeah. It is not an argument. The people are illiterate, they don't care for it, therefore let the university be closed. This is an argument. <laughs> Gradually they will develop attraction. Yeah. We have to work. That is preaching. We don't think preaching is so easy going, eating, sleeping, and sometimes chanting Hari <laughs> That is not preaching. must be ready to uh, implant Krishna consciousness idea throughout the whole world. The DT worship program uh, is meant for us to keep us safe. If we neglect DT worship, we shall also fall. But that is not the all duty finished. Acha vengo harai jab pujang sadhya hati. Acha means deity. If, if anyone is worshipping the deity very nicely, uh, but not at bhakti shu, charne shu, but he does not know anything more. Who is devotee? Who is non devotee? What is the duty to the world? So Bhakta Prakita Sutta, he is material devotee. He is material devotee. So we have to take the responsibility to understand who is actually a pure devotee and what is our duty to the people in general. And then you make advance. Then you become Madhya Madhika. Uh, Madhya Madhika is advanced devotee. Just like these people, either in India or here, they remain simply churchianity, going to the church without any understanding. Therefore it is failing. It is now churches are being closed. Yes. Similarly, if you do not keep yourself fit to preach, then your temples will all be closed in due course of time. Without preaching, will not feel enthused to continue the temple worship. And without temple worship, you cannot keep yourself pure and clean. The two things must go on parallel. Then there is success. Modern time, either Hindus, Muslim, or Christian, because in these places there is no teaching of philosophy, therefore they are closing. Either mosque or temple or church, they will close. 
They can show no good result for their uh, activities. Yes, that is preaching. Therefore, we are writing so many books. Unless we take care of the books and preach and read ourselves, understand the philosophy, uh, this Hare Krishna will be finished within few years. Because there will be no life. How long one can say artificially go on? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. That will be artificial. No life. That's right, Prabhupada. We are so foolish, we never realize until you tell us, like, without uh, preaching. Without preaching, without them. understanding philosophy, you cannot keep your strength. Everyone should be thoroughly uh, well conversed with the philosophy which I put in. That means we must read thoroughly every day. So many books we have got. And Bhagavat is so perfect that any verse you read, you get in your life. It is so nice. Either Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavad. But it is not ordinary writing. I have tried to put your Bhagavad Gita into some schools. Uh, and they say, well, some of them, if they do have a Bhagavad Gita, they say, well, we have a Bhagavad Gita. I say, well, no, this is an entirely different understanding of the Bhagavad Gita. Mm-hmm. And they say, well, it's just somebody else's opinion, and we don't have that much interest in a variety of opinions on the same book. But it is not the opinion. We are pursuing the as it is. Yes. Without opinion. Well, those are those terms. It's very difficult to overcome those so preaching is always difficult. Yes. That I am repeatedly saying. You cannot take preaching very easy going. Preaching must be fight. You mean to say fighting is easy thing? <laughs> fighting is not easy. Whenever there is fight, there is danger, there is responsibility. So preaching means what is in preaching? Because people are Ignorant. We have to learn Latin. That is speech. When you came to the Western world, no, no one, any of our, believed that it would be successful. I think, but it actually has become very successful by preaching. <laughs> I myself did not believe I shall be successful. What to speak about? <laughs> but because I did in the proper line. So it has become successful. Yes, Krishna is so kind that we expect something and he gives us hundred times more. Oh, yes. So if we simply follow your instruction, I'm sure that we will come out glorious. So if we're in the proper line, then our political activities also can become successful? Oh, yes. Krishna was in politics. <laughs> so Krishna consciousness means all round. Social, political, philosophical, religious, cultural, everything. It is not one sided. They take it as they do not know that what they are thinking. It is a religious movement. No, it is all including. All including. All pervasive. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.